Unit 5. Figure it out. The big idea. What helps you understand the world around you? Persephone. Long ago, the ancient Greeks told this myth to help them understand the changing seasons. Demeter, goddess of the harvest, had a beautiful daughter named Persephone. The joy that Persephone gave Demeter was so great that wherever Demeter stepped, plants, grains, and fruit grew in abundance. The god Hades looked up from his dark underworld kingdom and fell in love with Persephone. One day he reached up and dragged Persephone to the underworld. Eventually he convinced her to marry him. Demeter searched the whole world for her daughter. She was so broken-hearted that all of the plants began to wither and die around her. Persephone begged Hades to let her go to her mother. Hades agreed. But before he released her, he gave Persephone a pomegranate. When she ate three of the pomegranate's red seeds, she became bound to the underworld for a part of every year. When Persephone is with Demeter, everything blooms and grows. But during the part of the year when she is with Hades, the world becomes a dark, cold place where nothing grows. Weekly Concept, Making It Happen Essential Question In what ways do people show they care about each other? Show you care People show that they care about each other in different ways. Helping someone with their homework, making a special card for a friend, or raking leaves for an elderly neighbor are just some examples of how people show they care about one another. How do you think the boy in the photo feels about the man in the wheelchair? How can you tell? What are some ways that you show you care about your friends and family? Talk about it. Write words you have learned about how to show you care. Talk with a partner about what you can do to help others. Vocabulary Use the picture and the sentences to talk with a partner about each word. Bouquet I assembled the beautiful flowers into a bouquet. Emotion. Surprise is such a strong emotion that people often gasp out loud. Encircle. The children held hands to encircle the tree. Express. Tito made a picture to express his love of color. Fussy. Fussy Mr. Green stood in front of the mirror until his bow tie looked perfect. 
Fussy. Fussy means hard to please or picky. Fussy. Fussy means hard to please or picky. Portraits. This week, Anne's art class is drawing portraits of themselves and each other. Sparkles. The gold beaded curtain sparkles in the light. Sparkles, something that sparkles shines in quick, bright flashes. Sparkles, something that sparkles shines in quick, bright flashes. Whirl. The dancers were able to whirl and twirl without getting dizzy. Whirl. To whirl means to turn or spin around rapidly. Whirl. To whirl means to turn or spin around rapidly. Genre realistic fiction. Sadie's game. Essential question. In what ways do people show they care about each other? Read how a brother shows that he cares about his little sister. The referee's whistle went off like a shrieking bird, signaling Sadie's second foul of the game. It was only the first quarter, and Sadie had already collided twice with another player's wheelchair. Her coach waved her off the court for a substitution as the crowd shouted catcalls and jeered behind her. She had never seen a crowd express such disappointment before. Sadie watched her teammates whirl and spin in front of her. Her emotions were all over the place, and it showed in her basketball playing. If only she and her brother had not argued this morning about the game. What's so important, Richie, that you can't be at the game? Don't I matter anymore? Sadie had said. Richie was Sadie's whole world, and they both loved sports, especially basketball. Sadie loved to play before her accident, and it was Richie who had taught her to play again afterward. There had been days when she did not want to get out of bed, and he would coax and bully her until she got up. He even borrowed a wheelchair himself to help her learn to play the game all over again. Together they would roll across the outdoor court, zipping, zooming, passing, and dribbling all day long. But lately, Richie preferred to hang out with his new high school friends. Sadie would watch through the window as Richie polished every little nook of his new car. He was as fussy as a mother cat cleaning her kittens. When he drove away, Sadie would keep staring out of the window, tears clouding her eyes. Mama was her son. Her arms would reach out and encircle her in a long, warm embrace. Sadie, she would say, "Your brother loves you. Even though he's got new priorities now, that doesn't mean he doesn't care." But Sadie felt hurt. Sadie looked up and saw her coach frowning. 
She searched sadly for her mother, expecting disappointment in her eyes, but instead she saw a wide smile. It was the same happy face she saw in portraits of her mother at home. Sadie followed her mother's gaze to find Richie jogging toward her across the gym, holding a purple and white bouquet of flowers wrapped tightly with a ribbon. Richie's eyes sparkled and his smile gleamed. He bowed to his sister and handed her the flowers as though she were a queen. But, but we're losing. How do you know we're going to win? She asked. I don't, Richie said. It's not important. What I know is you're like a whirlwind on the court, and there is no way I'm going to miss my little sister's big game. He put his hand on her shoulder as he said, It's great to have a lot of new friends, but I realized that you're my best friend. Sadie smiled. Those words meant more to her than I'm sorry ever could. She rested the flowers on her lap and went back out onto the court. Right then, Sadie decided to play the rest of the game with the bouquet in her lap. With her brother watching from the sidelines, Sadie stole the ball from an opponent and dribbled her way to the net, making the first of what would be many amazing shots for the team. Make Connections Talk about how Richie shows he cares about his little sister Sadie. Whom do you care about in the same way that Richie cares about Sadie? Explain how you show you care. Visualize. When you read, picture the characters, key events, and setting of the story. As you read Sadie's world, stop and visualize events to help you better understand the story. Find text evidence. After rereading page 312 of Sadie's World, I can use the details to picture the events that are described in the story. Richie was Sadie's whole world, and they both loved sports, especially basketball. Sadie loved to play before her accident, and it was Richie who had taught her to play again afterward. There had been days when she did not want to get out of bed, and he would coax and bully her until she got up. He even borrowed a wheelchair himself to help her learn to play the game all over again. Together, they would roll across the outdoor court, zipping, zooming, passing, and dribbling all day long. But lately, Richie preferred to hang out with his new high school friends. Sadie would watch through the window as Richie polished every little nook of his new car. He was as fussy as a mother cat cleaning her kittens. When he drove away, Sadie would keep staring out of the window, tears clouding her eyes. Mama was her son. Her arms would reach out and encircle her in a long, warm embrace. Sadie, she would say, your brother loves you. Even though he's got new priorities, that doesn't mean he doesn't care. But Sadie felt hurt. I visualize Sadie staring out the window as her brother drives off in his car and her mother hugging her. This helps me to understand Sadie's feelings. Your turn. Reread the last paragraph on page 312 of Sadie's Game. Visualize how Richie looks as he jogs to Sadie. What words in the text help you picture the scene? As you read, remember to use the strategy Visualize. Realistic Fiction Sadie's Game is Realistic Fiction. Realistic Fiction is a made-up story, has characters, settings, and events that could exist in real life, may contain literary elements such as foreshadowing, Find text evidence. I can tell Sadie's game is realistic fiction. First of all, Sadie is a character who could exist in real life. Also, the setting and events are believable. The story includes foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing hints at what is going to happen without giving the action away. When Sadie looks up at her mother and sees her smiling, the author is giving the reader a clue that something good is about to happen. 
Your turn. Find and list two examples from the story that show that Sadie's game is realistic fiction. Similes and metaphors. A simile compares two things by using the words like or as. A metaphor is the comparison of two things without using like or as. Find text evidence. I see a simile in the first sentence of Sadie's game on page three eleven. The referee's whistle went off like a shrieking bird. In this sentence, the sound of the whistle is compared to a noisy bird. The referee's whistle went off like a shrieking bird, signaling Sadie's second foul of the game. Your turn. Find the similes and metaphors listed below. Tell what is being compared in each, and if it is a simile or a metaphor. He was as fussy as a mother cat cleaning her kittens. Page three twelve. Mama was her son. Page three twelve. As though she were a queen. Page three twelve. Write about the text. I responded to the prompt. Write a letter from Mama to Richie, telling him what she thinks about his surprise appearance at Sadie's game. Use details from the story. Dear Richie, I know things have been stormy between you and Sadie lately. Thank you for bringing the sunshine back by surprising her at her game. Did you see how much better she started playing after you got there? I understand how important your new friendships are to you, but you are very important to your sister. Today, you reminded her that she's important to you. You are a wonderful big brother who made it possible for Sadie to play basketball after her accident. Love, Mama. Strong opening. I grabbed my reader's attention with an opening line that makes them want to read more. Inferences. I made inferences about what a character would say. Grammar. This is an example of a sentence with an adjective that comes before a noun. Strong conclusion. The ending clearly sums up Mama's thoughts. Your turn. Write a letter from Sadie to her coach, explaining why she was playing badly during the game. Use details from the story.